Hey, welcome back to another episode of Phil Super. Today, we're nearing the end of the build and what we need to do is start cleaning everything back up again. So the car is pretty much all together, it drives well, but the wires need to be tucked back in, in the engine bay as well as having some put back in here, need trim pieces back in, and just all around cleaning up the engine, or the whole car. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the engine, pop the hood, and just go ahead and start cleaning up some of those wires. All right, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what's going on, but we are done with the wing. I've had enough of it on the car. It's been fantastic, but it's time to move on and go with a, that's not my car. But go with a wingless, clean looking look. But there are some things I want to do before I get rid of it, mainly being filling the holes on the side and on the bottom, because the biggest issues I ran into was that the screws just would not stick in. So they have these holes off to the side. You can kind of see where you're supposed to drill it in, but they are nowhere near the right spot. They just do not fit at all. So what I'm gonna go through is go through with fiberglass body filler and fill each hole and do a sheet of fiberglass on top and then smooth it over with body filler so that it'll be a little bit of a mound, but not too badly. I may just go just through it with a body filler, or not the body filler, the fiberglass filler and see how that works out, but there needs to be a little more strength here. So I'm gonna go ahead, mix it up and slap that on and then stay tuned because you'll wanna hear what's happening with this. All right, I moved the wing over here to let it dry, and while it's drying, I'm running low on time, but what I need to do is I need to adjust the alignment on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull the left tire out maybe a half turn. The alignment is really close, but just ever so slightly off. The reason why I'm doing this tire, when I'm on the freeway, the car will occasionally like to jolt back and forth just a wee little bit. And so I'm pulling this out to make sure I have a little more toe out instead of giving myself more toe in. Um, if you don't know what toe does, toe in gives you a quicker steering response, toe out gives you a slower steering response, but toe out gives you more stability at higher speeds. So I'm gonna do that. And in addition, I'm gonna try to lower the front half inch just to get it down a little bit. I think the splitter is actually at the point where the air is going underneath it and I wanna make sure that I can get it still stuck on the ground. So it just needs to be lowered a half inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the car and blitz through that. I'm gonna put you guys up on the time lapse. We're gonna roll as fast as we can. When the battery dies on the camera, the battery dies. I've got an hour and a half to do it, 50 minutes left on the battery. So I'm gonna shut up, get you guys down, and we're gonna get rolling. This is it. It looks a lot better in my opinion. Just tying up the front and the back, it's got that good spacing. Hopefully the alignment's good. I haven't taken it out, obviously. You guys saw me just take it down. The other side also looks good. It just looks a lot better like that, being with the front just a little bit lower. I like it a lot. Plus that front splitter is about two inches higher than the side skirts, so I do have some leeway to work with. Other than that, I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a drive here soon. You guys will see, or I'll let you guys know how it worked out, the alignment did. But wow, best thing of all, we started at 8.30. It's now 8.51, don't know if you can see that. So we knocked that out in 15, 20 minutes. So that's a good job. So things are drying up on the wing. After we do that drive, I'll probably get to the wing tomorrow, but it'll be part of the same video. Stay tuned and we're gonna be good here to go. Tomorrow comes in three, two, one, it is. It's like three days since I last took for the alignment drive and I dialed it in now and then. I found out that I could just mess with the alignment while the car still on the ground and that has made things super helpful. So super hyped on that. Now with the wing, it still needs some work. It's gonna be done on the car. I think I've just finished with it. It's ran its course and it was great, but it's time to get rid of it. So here's what I'm going to do with it and this is where things get good. So <laughs> plans have actually changed for it because my initial plan was I'm gonna do a giveaway with it. I'm just gonna give away the wing at a thousand subscribers. Um, 
I went to bed one night and checked my channel and it's like 4,000 views, 800 subscribers, it's like cool. It takes me about three months to get a couple hundred, so in a few months I'll be able to give it away, no big deal. Next morning, woke up, went to work, came home, and <laughs> I had over a thousand. And my building time lapse of the super video just kind of blew up. So that has been absolutely amazing. But I'm still done with the wing. So the plan with the wing is, it'll be a while, but I wanna make sure I do it right. And at, at 10K, I'm gonna go ahead and give away the wing. So that's the deal. All you need to do to enter is a couple of things. And I'm gonna go ahead and list those out for you. So that way everyone has the best shot. All right, before we get started on the rules for the giveaway, I wanna tell you something else that I'm starting and could really help this channel grow. First off, I wanna apologize for looking sweaty in half the videos that I film. Um, I'll take random breaks and just go play basketball for like a half hour out back. So <laughs> if you ever just randomly get a me where I'm in a different shirt and I'm a little sweaty, that's probably why. So anyway, back to what I was talking about. So I have created a Patreon page. And I know you guys probably hear this from every single creator out there, but it is something that really could help the channel. And here's the things that I really want to show you guys about the page. There's more benefits than just, hey, you get special special treatment. So what I really want to do with the Patreon page a little differently than other people is instead of just saying, hey, you get like an extra video or you get to talk to me because I'm so cool. Here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make you guys a part of the process itself. So there's three tiers that you're going to be able to check out that will really get you involved with the project. And I'm not just talking, oh, hey, like the comment section, this is what you get to do. I want to be able to talk to you guys and interact. So I'll be able to bounce ideas back and forth. Say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? This is kind of where I'm at. Where are you guys at? And depending on what you tier, you'll be just bouncing ideas back and forth. You'll get a little heads up like, hey, this is the, I'm working on this day. This is what you're going to get. And this video is going to be coming out in a couple weeks. You get a heads up on videos. You'll get posts that will come to you before anyone else and then even if you just can go as far as hey guys I'm looking to buy a new car what do you think it should be and you guys will get to decide the car for me we'll get to help decide I'll be like hey I'm looking at buying this car for this amount of money what do you think you think this is a good deal that I should hop on and get for the channel and you guys will be like yeah you'll be like no or you'll be like anything so this could be to the point where you guys will be selecting the cars with me and for me. So I really want you guys to be a part of this design process and the Supra has been a passion of mine, but I want to get you guys on board because I don't want to just stay on the Supra for the rest of my life. I'll have to be on it for a bit until we get a little more money. That's where you guys come in to help. So go ahead and check out links in the description along with the t in the tip jar section in the tip jar, tip jar, tip jar. It is in the tip jar, jar, jar. In the tip jar section down below, it's patreon.com forward slash Phil Super. So anyway, that's that. Let's show you guys back to the giveaway part now. So here's what you need to do in order to enter the giveaway. All you need to do is post a picture onto Instagram of your favorite YouTube video that you have um, of mine or any one that you've seen that you like. Just post any screenshot from it and then tag me. That's Phil Super. Same on Instagram as I am on YouTube. Use the hashtag Phil Super and then just type your username below so I can verify it and know that you subscribe to me on YouTube and I aren't cheating. And anyway, that is all you need to do. So to do just those three things, just subscribe, post a picture with me tagged, hashtag Phil Super, and your YouTube username. That's it. Giveaway will happen as soon as we reach 10,000 subscribers and that will be it. So anyway, that's the plan for that. Psych. No, that's the plan for that. And best of luck. And don't forget to do usual. Dislike, unsubscribe, hit in the comments, guys. Bye. So here's